What you're about to see is not a news broadcast. I just want to warn you up front that what I'm about to talk to you about may cause your brain to ache and then slowly feast upon itself much the way that hypodermically injecting about a dozen Slurpees directly into your skull might. So if you start to feel a warm trickle on your cheek, that might actually be your brain. I can't believe I'm doing a video on this. This information was sent to me two days ago and I am not over it yet and so I'm gonna have to talk to you guys about it. I, I don't know what to do with myself right now over something that seemingly should not be that big of a deal and yet somehow it really is. Do you remember the Berenstein Bears from when you were a kid? I do because the B book was one of the first books I ever learned how to read. And I remember reading it with when I was about two with my mother. I remember this very clearly because it was one of my favorites. And even once I got too old because it's such a simple book, I still... My mom was so good at telling stories and reading books. And I, I kept wanting to read it even once I was too old to, to really read it because it was one of those sentimental things. And I kept my copy from my childhood. And I read it to my kids. And I have very vivid memories of the Berenstein Bears books. It's one of those vivid, visceral memories from childhood that I have. And I remember thinking to myself, how do I pronounce this? Is it Berenstein or Berenstein, like Frankenstein? Now flash forward to two days ago when I was sent a bevy of information from a very nice guy named Jason on YouTube. Very well researched, has a whole playlist and a whole bunch of information and that is going to come in future reports once I've had a chance to fully digest what in the hell is going on here. He asked me, do you remember the Berenstein Bears? And I, yeah, of course, I remember them. I, I still have one of the books in my house. How, how do you remember it being spelled? Well, that's easy. It's B-E-R-E-N-S-T-E-I-N, Baron, Berenstein. Not anymore, you guys. It, it's not Berenstein. It's apparently Berenstain with an A. Look at this. Look. Look at it. Do you see that? What the hell is going on? Look! What? I'm sorry, but I have not I have not gotten over this. It's been two days and I'm not over this. That looks so weird to my brain. My entire physical being does not want to accept this. Just doesn't want to accept it. And I flipped inside the thing, because I, I ran into my kid's room and I went, it's Berenstein, obviously. This is just silly, right? No. Down here in the copyright information, this book right here, which is from 1971, copyright. Stanley and Janice Berenstain. Berenstain. What is going on here? I have lived my entire life in a world where there was no such thing as a barren stain bear. Are, have we entered like an alternate reality? Is this a glitch in the matrix? Is this the multi-universe, multiverse, multiple dimension theory? Like what in the hell is going on? Sorry about that. I'm gonna, I'm bringing it back down. We're, we're coming back down. I'm going back to my center here. When I, was a, when I was a kid, I was a tomboy, and I used to climb trees, and I was the class clown, I was the class comedian, I, that's the person I was. And you can believe that if there was a book called Baron Stain, I would have probably made fun of that. I'd probably still be making fun of that today, actually. What, what is, what is this? You guys, this is, this scares me. This is so, I, I can't look at this. It's like a fake, 
I immediately went online to eBay and Amazon and I started looking up old vintage stuff, right? One of the first things I found on eBay was a vintage Berenstain. I'm not going to say Berenstain. I'm sorry. No one is going to force me to do that. On eBay, there is a vintage lunchbox for sale. And the picture of the lunchbox says Berenstain. But even the comic book store that's selling the lunchbox wrote in the title Berenstain or Stein, whatever. It's with an E because we all know this. This is... What? This can't just be a mass hallucination. I saw a video that someone put up where they tried to explain this away by saying that we just all filled in the blanks in our head with an E because A looks weird. No, there's lots of words that look weird that if my brain just wanted to change the way a word looked so it looked less weird. I mean, there's tons of words like that that we would be changing mentally all the time. This is hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that are saying, what the hell is going on? I do not remember this being spelled with an A. I called friends and family. We talked to like, I probably talked to like six people straight off the bat just as soon as I got the book out of my kid's room just to ask them if I, just to see if I could find one person anywhere, one per, just one, who remembers this being spelled stain. Nobody. I couldn't find one person. I don't know anyone who remembers Baron Stain. Ah, you guys. <laughs> Think about this for a second. Do you remember ever seeing an A on any of these books? Do you remember seeing that? And then ask yourself if they're messing with the fabric of space-time. Are we in that scene in Back to the Future where he's holding up the picture and stuff is disappearing off of the film as he's looking at it? It's just vanishing before his eyes. Is that what happened here? Is that what's going on? And... There are still websites out there, educational websites, etc. They spell it wrong. It's a parent or right or whatever you want to say. They spell it with an E. You can find that everywhere. So this is something that I guess we are all just mass hallucinating. And what this is based on is something that's been come to be known as the Mandela effect. And the reason is because there are a whole bunch of people who remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison and I looked some of these people's you know blogs up and I read some of their entries and they don't just remember that he died and they maybe heard that from someone they clearly remember watching the news coverage of his death the news coverage of his funeral his grieving widow the riots that broke out afterwards so this is a long process of them remembering very clearly Nelson Mandela dying in prison, and he's not. Are we starting to see some kind of ripple in time? Smashing together of parallel universes, and we're just from the universe where it was always Berenstein with an E? Because this is not right. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. It just looks so weird. Aaron's like, can you please take that book out of the room or flip it over or something? I don't want to see it. He didn't want to look at it. It made him that uncomfortable. I mean, the thing is, not only did I own a bunch of these books and I had them in my house and I read them as I learned to read, my parents, my grandparents read them to me along with other books while we were reading, but they were also in the doctor's office every time I went to the doctor. I know, and they so were forth. everywhere. And the thing is, you know, learning to read, I paid a lot of attention, as I'm sure every kid did, to words that look alike and words that rhyme. And so if it was Baron Stains, I feel like I would have remembered almost like a pneumatic, a mnemonic mm -hmm. device or something like Baron Stains. Those are the bears that are stained or something. You, you know, I know, some right? Some kind of mental device. But I always remember it being Baron Steen. I just really have deep set memories of that, and this just looks wrong to me, like a misspelled word looks wrong. I've got some memories of these books, and this, I just don't remember that. I really feel like I would have remembered that. 
and I can't explain why I have memories in my head of it being spelled a different way my whole life. It's so uncomfortable to look at this book with this knowing that I have vivid ingrained memories in my brain of of never seeing the letter A on these books ever. This gives me a rash, you guys, I think. Now, you might watch this video and think I'm completely insane. Well, that's okay, because I feel like the world is completely upside down, because apparently a book that ever since I was a child, I've read and read to my kids years of my life is not spelled the way that I thought. I don't know what else to tell you. It's really weird. It's kind of kind of messes with my head. It's kind of troubling. It really is. If those memories are wrong, and it's always been Berenstain, what other memories in my head can I not rely on? You know what I mean? It's like we all live in Dark City or something, and then we go to sleep at night, and they rearrange things, and you wake up and it's different, and you can't, you can't quite put your finger on it, and no one knows how to get to Shell Beach. That's what I feel like right now. And I'm starting to think that if you start to look around yourself, you're going to notice that there are things that you didn't notice before that are just changed somehow from when you were little and you just can't explain it. I can't, I just, I can't get over this. I meant to make a five minute video about this and I've been recording now for over ten. This is pathetic. Baron Stains, you guys. Baron Stain Bears, huh? It's so wrong. Ugh. I feel like the book is evil and it's gonna come to life and eat us both. It's a really little detail. But it's so horrible. Just Why is this happening? What you're about to see is not a news broadcast. I just wanna warn you up front that what I'm about to talk to you about may cause your brain to ache and then slowly feast upon itself much the way that hypodermically inject don't know what to do with myself right now over something that seemingly should not be that big of a deal and yet somehow it really is. Do you remember the Berenstein Bears from when you were a kid? I do because the B book was one of the first books I ever learned how to read. And I remember reading it, read it to my kids. And I have very vivid memories of the Berenstein Bears books. It's one of those vivid, visceral memories from childhood that I have. And I remember thinking to myself, how do I pronounce this? Is it Berenstein or Berenstein? Thing about a dozen Slurpees directly into your skull might. So if you start to feel a warm trickle on your cheek, that might actually be your brain. I can't believe I'm doing a video on this. This information was sent to me two days ago, and I am not over it yet, and so I'm gonna have to talk to you guys about it. I. I with, when I was about two with my mother, I remember this very clearly because it was one of my favorites and even once I got too old because it's such a simple book, I still... My mom was so good at telling stories and reading books and I, I kept wanting to read it even once I was too old to, to really read it because it was one of those sentimental things and I kept my copy from my childhood and I 